All right, I'm now gonna show you how to set up a Punnett square for incomplete dominance. Now, in incomplete dominance, that means that neither trait is dominant, which means neither trait can mask another allele. And because of this, the two, you can think of them as two recessive alleles, they will instead blend to create a new phenotype. So for instance, in snapdragon plants, there are red flowers, but red is not a dominant allele, so we would represent it as lowercase r and lowercase r. And then we have white flowers, which are also not dominant, so we would show their alleles as little w, little w. Now, if a red mates with a white, the parent that's red would pass a little r, and the white flowered parent would pass one of its little w's, and you would get a blended phenotype of red and white combining to make pink, which is shown with the genotype rw. So anytime you're using incomplete dominance, you should always use all lowercase letters, and if you have two lowercase letters together, you should mix them or blend those features. So we're gonna set up a Punnett square over here to practice this. And what I'm gonna set up the Punnett square for is to mate a pink flower with a white flower. So white is a purebred, which means it's gonna have little w, little w. And if it mates with a pink flower, that pink flower can only be created by inheriting a little r and a little w a red and a white combining to make pink. So now if I put them into my Punnett square, I'm gonna get my offspring. And you'll see that I have offspring that are RWs and offspring that are just little w, little w's. So if I ask what's the percent chance that the children or offspring would have red flowers and the answer would be 0% would be red. Because to make red, it has to have little r and little r. Now if I asked what percent are pink, that would be this box and this box, and I would say 50% will be pink. And that means these two boxes would be 50% would show white phenotype. So incomplete dominance means nothing is dominant, no letters are capitalized, and if the two letters are present, they blend into a new phenotype. So for instance, um, incomplete dominance can take a black characteristic, um, mix it with a white characteristic, and come out with gray appearance in the offspring. Just another example. Okay.